hit you up, you don't want to rap back. Hey you guys, welcome back. So today's video I thought would be fun to go through some of my old sketchbooks. I love these videos, I love looking through people's sketchbooks. And I literally have stuff dating back basically 22 years. So obviously I'm not going to show everything, but I thought it'd be fun to throw in some of the really old stuff here and there to show some progression and maybe also have a bit of a laugh. So obviously this video is going to be a little bit long, I'm going to stop rambling, we will move down onto the rug because um, it's cosier and also because I just need room to spread things out and uh, yeah, let's crack on! So this sketchbook was one that I just did in my free time. It's sort of a collection of drawings and things, it's sort of all scrapbooked in and it's a shame that it's got so, so scuffed up. I got it from the shop in the tape and I didn't use it for ages just because I didn't want to ruin it, I loved it so much. So these drawings are from 2009, I would have been 16. And yeah, like I said, it's just all bits and bobs. Like these ones are from 2007, so I would have been 14. Is that right? Oh, and this one's from, I used to work at a coffee kiosk on a train station platform, so I would get to watch passengers all day from my little box, and I just saw this couple sitting on the bench across the platform and sketched them out on my little notebook, and I really liked this at the time, and I still do. And then this was, this was actually the view from my old bedroom um, in the house I grew up in, had a great view of London, and this is obviously before the Shard was built. I think the London Eye is over this way. But yeah, one day I just sat by my window and drew the London skyline. Oh, and these are places that I've been and want to go back to, so back when I used to love using a watercolour and then a fine liner. So I've got Monte Carlo, um, the Grand Canyon, New York, I think I've been back to since I drew this. And this is Trudy when we went on a girls holiday when I was, I think, 17. We stayed in this house that had a little cat called, and we named her Trudy, so I'd love to see little Trudy again. Oh, and this is from when, 2012, I think I was still at uni, um, I went to King's College, so it's right in London town, and basically, instead of going to lectures, I used to stay on my bus um, till it got to the end of the line and just go to St Paul's Cathedral and draw it from the top deck of the bus, and I did that a few times, you can see, that these go from February to May. <laughs> Um, and this is when I first started using Copics, or Copics, um, and I just drew this little corner of my bathroom and um, a corridor in my house. And I remember really having fun playing with the shading. I'd like to do something like that again. This, this isn't, um, I mean, I drew this, but I drew it from another drawing. And obviously I did this years ago, so unfortunately I don't know if I'll be able to find the original. Okay, so next is my, what, I think my last A-level sketchbook from school. So the last year that I did art, I must have been 17. So this was a painting that I did of myself grown up holding a picture of myself younger. What is that? Well oh, that's pretty cool. Hmm. 
This is a big thing. I'll see if I can get a shot of it from far away. But that's a self-portrait that I did um, in, I think it's charcoal. Yeah, it's not, it's not bad. I think it'd be nice actually to try and do some more realism stuff again. Um, and while we're on the subject of self-portraits, since this is a portrait sketchbook, I thought it'd be funny to show you guys a couple of really old self-portraits. So brace yourselves. This is me. I'm, I don't know when I did this, there's no date on it. But yeah, I must have been quite young. And then I've got this one, which is... <laughs> which is... Um, a good effort and I think I was in year eight or seven when I did that so about 11 or 12 years old but uh, yeah I think I've moved on from that stage and I've started plucking my eyebrows since then so <laughs> okay so this is my portrait sketchbook and then there's the smaller version of that big one that I showed you and another self-portrait. And this page is supposed to be about who I am. Um, I've done a painting of my old house and then just pictures of bottles and things. So I guess that's who I was at that time and my retainer there. And this is when I got the idea that my final piece for this course would be a sort of self-portrait with me covered in water, so that's me with the water dripping down my face. And then in the end I ended up doing this painting as my final piece, um, and it's a lot bigger on a big canvas, and my mum has kept it, she has it in her study. So I'll try and get some footage of that so you can see it full size. I did, an, I did a couple of pages on hands, one or two pages on hands. So for another throwback, I've got this drawing of a hand from when I was in year eight. So that was 2005, 10 years ago, it would have been 12. And then I did one the next year. So I think you can see a bit of improvement. And that's that for that sketchbook. Okay, now moving on to more recent sketchbooks. I have this one here that's sort of full of um, references, pages and pages of just practice. And some of these are life drawings, some are from pictures, um, and then I started drawing sort of other artists' depiction of bodies as well. And that really just goes on and on. And then it goes into just sort of random illustrations. And in here I've got a few old paintings that you might have seen before. Or you might not have, that one's quite old. And this is actually a tattoo. Design. Uh, one of my friends asked me to draw her something. She sent me a picture of the type of thing she wanted and I sketched this out and she actually has this... I think it goes that way. She actually has this down her back now, which is pretty amazing. I mean, the tattoo artist did it really well. Next up, um, one of my moleskins. And this was the first moleskin I ever owned. And this is when I was really into uh, landscapes. I 
as you can tell. Landscapes and buildings. And I loved, um, like, what's it called? Like abandoned buildings. This is an old favourite. I haven't seen this in a while. This is my drawing of Willow and Jaden Smith. And I remember I just really loved how this turned out at the time. and my other moleskin. And obviously this is when I got more into drawing portraits. and drawing scenes from films. little Simon Cowell there. And I recently posted on Instagram a really cool moving version of this that I made with the Motion Portrait app, which is just amazing, I love it. And that's that one. My most recent sketchbook before the two I've been using currently. So a lot of this you'll have probably seen before. And a lot of it is sort of just sketchy, just random sketches that never turned into anything. So if it feels like I'm skipping a lot, it's just because a lot of it is, you know, stuff like that.
And that's the last one. But I just thought I'd finish with this. This is one of my favourite paintings. I know it's nothing special, but I had it up in my room for years and years and years. And what I love about it the most is when I decided to write the date on it all those years ago, I just decided to go with the fact that it was a Monday and it was 2001. So no month, no nothing, just any Monday, 2001. All right guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed filming it. It's probably been my most favorite video to film so far. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not already and I will see you in the next one. Bye.